Hi, I'm Pete. I'm with the Niles Main District Library, and I'm going to show you how to use virtual background in Zoom using a green screen. I'm in my home office, and I want to show you above. Right here, I put a shower curtain rod. I like to use a shower curtain rod because I don't have to put holes in the wall. It just, you know, you turn it and it stays sturdy. And once you have that, I could put the um, green screen. Smooth it out as much as you can. You don't want any dents. There you go. Okay, now I have the um, green screen all hooked up. I put it over a shower curtain rod. Now, if you have a, I, I have a small room for my office, so I could use the shower curtain rod. But if it's, um, if you got bigger room, you know, what you can use is the um, window, you know, curtain, window curtain bar, and you could put the green screen over that. Um, I also want to show you that I put, you know. Screen. There's a chair here with a design. I don't want. I don't want the chair to be seen, so I put also a green covering, vinyl covering on that. And I use this is my favorite thing to use is a binder clipper for the vinyl cover and the green screen. Um, you could use, let's see, a potato. This is a good one, a potato chip clipper, and it's green, so it kind of blends in. That's a good one. Also, like a um, this is for the towel, beach towel that holds holds the thing. So. Here's our green screen. All right, now I'll show you how to put a virtual background. There we are. And what you do is you go to where, on the lower left-hand corner with the um, icon, the video icon, oops, I turned it off, video icon, and choose a virtual background. I'll pick the one that they, um, that they have with Zoom already. So here we go, we click on that, and bam, I'm right here, I'm in San Francisco. Okay. Now I'll show you um, some other ones you could pick, um, another virtual background. I mean, this is great. You could go anywhere in the world. Here we got London. You could be in London. Let's see, also, I wanna show you about Chicago here, about this one. Now, as you can see, in the background, I got the Hancock building, but my head is uh, blocking it, and it sort of looks like I got horns on my head, so you wanna make sure you pick the right type of picture. Um, if you want it in there, you could sit on the side and show it. But you could go back. I have another picture of Chicago. There you go. Now you could see the hand. I can see the hand I feel I'm not blocking it. That's a nice um, you know, way to pick it out. Here's another good example of that. She was a virtual and there you go. The pyramids of Giza. Now I picked this picture because I'm not blocking anything. See? And you got the two pyramids on each side. This is a good virtual background to use. Okay, there's another um, back, virtual background I want to show you. Um, so, you know, you can travel anywhere in the world, but you can also travel, you know, back in time. Here you go. This is uh, New York City in 1900s. And uh, reminds me of what uh, Shakespeare said, when the world's a stage and all the men and women are just the players and this picture just shows that exactly. This guy over here in the balcony, he's looking down on the street. He's got, you know, vest on. He's all ready. And all the people are on the street. And, you know, there was no TV, no Netflix, no computers. You know, if you want you want to show, you want to say, you go out in the street, and that's where everything's happening, right on, right on the street there. So this is a beautiful picture. I love it. Okay. Now I'll show you how to, uh, if you want to pick your own background, your own personal background. So you, I have to go into a share screen to show you that. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna search under Bing. You could choose uh, Google and then images, but I, I like to use Bing. There you go, image. And we'll put down um, Harry Potter by John Alley. Oh, and also, it's very important to put down wallpaper. When you put down wallpaper, um, you get a larger um, number. <clears throat> the larger the number, the better the quality of picture. So if you just use regular, um, if you don't put down wallpaper, it'll be a smaller number. And if you choose that background, it's going to be pixelated. It's not going to be a clear picture. So um, you look around, there's a whole bunch of nice pictures of Diagon Alley, or like this one. And you do a right click. And you choose Save Image As. And there you, it'll be um, on this uh, this PC under pictures, and you do save. Now it's saved. So now let's go back to our Zoom. 
and you choose um, the lower left hand corner, the video icon, and choose a virtual background. And you wanna go to uh, the plus sign here and click on that, add image. Click on add image and your um, file will be open. And here's the one that we just picked. So I click on that, open, and there I am in Diagon Alley. Isn't that beautiful? So here I have Diagon Alley, and here I got a sign there. There you go, it looks like it's floating, right? So here is what it looks like. I'll put none, and then you can see I just have a green. Anything you put in green, you won't see. So that's a little cute little um, special effects you could do. Okay, one other special effect I enjoyed is in Harry Potter, it was when that uh, Christmas morning when Harry Potter got his invisibility cloak as a present. So I got this uh, green felt material, and I'll show you how to do that effect. So let's go back to um, choose a background. There's the um, Hogwarts Christmas scene. And I, I don't have um, Harry Potter. Closest thing I got is um, King Arthur. So King Arthur is gonna be um, Harry Potter for today. So here's the invisibility cloak. There it is, just like in the movie, and it disappears. So then you gotta straighten it out. There you go. Thank you, King Arthur, for playing for Harry Potter. Okay, one other effect I want to show is like I'm in water, so you could use a green poster board and it's like just the water's filling up. There you go. That's my other effect. My favorite Doctor Who. <laughs> it's a nice uh, visual effect you can make using, um, you know, green screen. There you go. From <clears throat> underwater to space, you could do anything you want on a background. There you go. You gotta play around with it, but you get the idea. Okay, one other effect I always wanted to do is when they send reporters to uh, Florida when there's a hurricane, they put the poor broadcaster in the middle of the storm to tell everybody that there's a lot of wind. So I always wanted to do this. Um, so I got a fan behind me. I got a found a uh, background, and this I'll call this hurricane virtual virtual reality. All right, let's see how. Oh yeah. Got a whole hurricane going on. <laughs> okay, a lot of fun. All right, oh, there goes the uh, Harry Potter, the Tygon Alley. Tygon Alley, and oh, there, oh, King Arthur, too. All right, I guess that's it. Once I see King Arthur, that's it. I'm done.